Hi, welcome to Make a Side Guide. In the last tutorial, we have learned how to create div tags and how to edit them. And in the tutorial before, we created a site root folder, a CSS folder, an images folder, and we have created a blank index.html document. So just double click on that document and you can see that we've got a blank white page. We haven't done anything to it yet. So the first thing I'm going to do here now is to minimize Dreamweaver and to import the images I'm going to use. So just drag it over on Dreamweaver, drag it to the images folder and just drop it in. You can see that they are imported now. The next thing we are going to do is to give this page a style. So just come down to page properties, click on it and go to background color and select a, whatever color you want. I will select black and I will insert the background image. So I'm just going to click browse and you can see that it took me into the images folder. I will click on background and click on apply and OK. Now you can see we've got a nice background here. There is one thing about the images I want to tell you. You should optimize them for your website. Go to our website and read the optimization tools and tips under, under the what you will need article to learn how it affects traffic and ranking. So we are going to start and build our first page now. So I'm, I'm coming up to insert div tag, click on it and leave it to insert it at the insertion point and I will name it wrapper. This wrapper is going to contain every other div tag and all the content on this page and, and on the other pages. This is going to be our CSS layout. So click on OK, erase the text. I will go to split view so you can see what's happening. This is our opening div and this is our closing div. And there, this says content for ID wrapper goes here. So just erase that. You don't need it. Come to the all rules panel. Make sure that you have clicked on style and click on this little page with the plus sign on it. Now you can see it says new CSS rule. The selector type is advanced. The selector is named wrapper. Make sure to define it in a new style sheet file and click on OK. Save it in the CSS folder and name it layout.css. Click Save and you can see that the properties panel popped out. Now we're going to give this div a 800 in width, 800 pixels, but we are not going to define the height because we want this wrapper to expand as we add content. So don't give it a height. Just go to margin Uncheck Same for All and to center it on the page, select Auto in right and Auto in left. The other thing we are going to do is to give it borders. Go to borders, leave the Same for All checked, give it a solid border of 1 pixels width and I'm going to give it a light gray color. Click Apply and OK. So you can see that it is centered, it has borders. Now you can't see much here. But you will see what's happening when we start adding the header, the body area, the navigation and the footer. So let's add our first, our header here, the first div. We are going to place the banner or the logo, whatever, inside it. So click on insert div tag again. Leave it as insertion point because you can see that it will go inside the wrapper div. Give it a header, ID, click OK, erase the text. Go to the All Rules panel, click on Layout CSS and on the little page with the plus sign on it and you can see that it's already defined all the settings. Click OK and give it the attributes you want. So I want this header to be 800 in width and 160 pixels in height because my background, my logo is 160 in height. Click Apply and give it a bottom border because the wrapper already gave it a top and the, and the side border so it only needs a bottom border. Uncheck, same for all. Go to bottom, solid, one pixels and the light gray color. Click apply. Now go to the background category and select a background image. Click on browse and select the logo you want. Click on it apply and OK. So we've got our banner. 
If you like this banner or want a similar one, go and check out our Photoshop tutorials. The next thing we are going to create is a navigation bar. So come up to Insert Div Tags. Now we want this div to be after the header but inside the wrapper. So we will select After Tag and we will select the Divide the Header and give it the name Navigation. Click OK. Erase the text. Click on Layout CSS and the little page with the plus sign on it. Click OK and give it 800 pixels in width and 20 pixels in height. Click Apply. It will it will center because it is inside the wrapper so you don't have to center it all over again. Give it a bottom border. So uncheck Sim for All. Bottom, Solid, 1 pixels and the light gray color. Click Apply and OK. Now we're going to insert some text in here. So I just type in the code Home information about and contact and click on refresh now let's go into the navigation bar and set the settings for our text we'll give it some color in the type section and we will center it so go to block and in the text align panel just click select center and apply so we've got our text our buttons I will show you how to create rollover buttons in some other tutorial now let's create the body area so click on insert div tag go to after tag after navigation give it the ID body area click OK erase the text refresh click on layout CSS page with the plus sign OK. Now I will give it 800 in width. Now the thing about bo the body area is that you don't want to determine the height because you want it to do the same thing as the wrapper to expand as you add content but I will give it a height so you can see how it will look when you finish with it and I will give it a bottom border so uncheck same for all solid one pixels and that gray color apply OK and you can see we've got our body area here. You can change the background of the body area just double click on the div, go to background and select a color, whatever color you want. So now I'm going to create a footer. This is the last thing you will need. So insert div tag, after tag, after body area ID is footer. Click OK. Erase the text. Go to the Oros panel, click on Layout CSS, the page plus page sign with the pass on it, wrapper footer, OK, give it the attributes, 800 in width, and let's say 30 pixels in height, and click Apply, and OK. So go to Design, and you can see you've got your page, you're done. We are going to create a template from, from this page, I will show you how in the next tutorial so that you can create as many pages that are the s that have the same look as this page so many pages as many ch pages you want so this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching and watch my next tutorial on how to create templates thank you